How would you like some peanut butter with that jelly sandwich? Mother... F- hey, oh, it's the Chris Cord Show. Hey, oh, it's- This show is brought to you by... It was a long, dark night. The night was Halloween. And there were children playing. They were laughing. (laughs) One kid laughed and said to Tommy, Hey, Tommy, I bet you can't jump over the river. Tommy looked at him and said, The fuck I can't. Tommy then looked at the river and said, Hell yeah, I got this. He jumped, and he jumped some more, and he jumped so high, he met his doom. Who was his doom, you ask? Who was his doom? Well, that's obvious, because it was him, the owl. What you doing, man? What you doing so high jumping across that river down there? Don't you know where you are, man? Hell yeah, I do. But I also know I've got some nuts. I've got some nuts in my pants. Well, Tommy, then... Fell, fell to his death. The owl looked at him and said, A chinka chinka choo, a chinka chinka choo, a chinka chinka choo. You, you, you are dead, are dead, are dead, are dead. There it is. Part. What, what, what was that? That was part two. That was part two? Yeah. You got to wait until part three. If you, if you don't know, the squirrel didn't make it in this one. There wasn't a squirrel. It was a bat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even listen to the last one to remember what the story was. If you go to our last Halloween episode, this isn't really our Halloween episode, but I figured you had... You know what? We could do um, uh, uh, part three next week. We could do it in two weeks. Yeah. Be the day after Halloween. Yeah. Well, that's a little uh, post mature. That's what I like to do. Yeah. I don't like that premature. <laughs> I bet you don't. Yeah. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode. Thank you guys for coming out and join us. Uh, we're so glad to have you here. What do you. Uh, what do you think, Matt? I mean, we're here. We're doing it. We are. We're doing the thing. And we are at 4,000 listeners. 4,000 downloads. Uh, 4,000 downloads. <laughs> well, I guess that would be listeners, right? Well, 4,000 listens. Yeah, 4,000 listens. So thank you guys for listening. Remember, our biggest thing that we're doing here is um, playing independent music. That's basically what this whole thing was built off of. So... Um, and, we, and we want more more independent bands, musicians, artists, whatever it is. We want you guys to submit it. Chris Corcho at gmail.com. Um, and that's where you could submit it, man. And we do interviews. You could see it on uh, you could see on YouTube. Um, it, you could see the live video or not live videos, but interviews from bands across the world, across the pond, everywhere, man. But we play it. You want to listen? You on sick of that? Planets. On different planets. You sick of that old music? Listen to this. You know? Listen to some new music. Yeah. Quit, quit listening to all that 80s music. So, I don't know. Anyway, whatever it is, just listen here. Uh, how you doing, Matt? I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty gay today. Okay. That's good. That's good. 
Uh, well, I'm uh, pretty good. I, I got my wife a new uh, cat uh, for her birthday. Oh, yeah, nobody cares. Oh. That hurts. <laughs> I'm sure your wife cares. No, she does care, yeah. but, uh, you it know. It was a very nice, thoughtful gift. Yeah, it was. And she wanted a kitten for a while. Yeah, she did. Or a cat, I should say. Yeah. And you got her a kitten. Yeah. So we both got what we wanted. Uh, I got my dog. She got her cat. You know? You Things got, are looking up. You got a little pussy? You got a little pussy? Yeah. And you just wanted to say pussy. Luna. Oh, yeah, Luna. Little pussy. Yeah. And what else is going on? Uh, lots of stuff is going on, right? Is not really much stuff is I mean, going on. It's just life. Yeah. Same shit, different day. Yeah. That's what we're here for. That's right. To talk about the same shit, different day. <laughs> Last week we were at uh, our, our remote uh, studio. Remote studio. And By the it, airport. It was with Tim. <laughs> yeah, Tim was there. Tim was there. and um, Tim had a few drinks with us. Yeah. Uh, it was a good time. We went. Uh, we went out to, where did we go? Uh, Last weekend, Pollyanna Social. Yeah, we went to the Pollyanna. It's this place Club. in Lamont, Illinois, and uh, we got a. Uh, they do craft liquors, craft liquors, and craft cocktails. We got a cauldron. Yeah, that was terrible. It was awful. It tasted like. Um, uh, it, tasted like a, it tasted like a sweaty ball sack. <laughs> it did, and, and they and they said it's going to kind of taste like Malort, and. Um, it had a malort aftertaste. It had a malort aftertaste, but when we were drinking it, I mean, the bowl was like huge. Oh god, it, it was, was like, huge. There was five of us, and there was probably at least three or four or five glasses of person. Yeah. And I had probably about oh shit, I think I, I had remember. four. Now that's it. Yeah, I only had I had, I had like nine or ten. That's because no one else was drinking. It was me and Andrea just <laughs> holding them back. Me, you, and Andrea were the ones drinking. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, well, it, Michelle was doing pretty good. They, they drank too. Yeah. Yeah, actually, just drank pretty good. There was just a lot. It was a big fucking bowl. Yeah, it was huge. But uh, you know that was that was a good time. But I, I would suggest not to get that. Well, I don't think they're gonna have it anymore after Halloween. So after we uh, destroyed it and said this is shit, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's all that's going on. Let's just uh, do what we came here for and get into our. Our artist that we have here. This is Olivia Michelli. We'll talk more about her when we come back from. Is uh, it Michelli or Micelli? No, it's Michelli. It has to be Are Michelli. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Maybe if she listens to this, uh, correct us. Is it Michelli or Micelli? Wouldn't be the first time someone corrected us. Yeah. But I think it's Michelli. We'll find out. Anyway, the song is called Green Eyed Monster. We'll talk more about it right after this. Here Enjoy. on the Chris Court Show. I've got green eyes.
have a band or just have music you want to send to the Chris Court Show, send us what you got. We will definitely play it and we'll give you good promotion. Just send MP3s and information to Chris Court Show at gmail.com. Olivia Michelli, Green Eyed Monster. What did you think, Matt? I liked it. I really like her voice. So do I. She got like that nice, it's very like, catchy. Floaty, yeah, she got like the nice floaty voice, and she has some catchy ass lyrics. Yeah, I like that. They used the word floaty because that almost perfectly describes that. Yeah, yeah I like that. Um, yeah, but it's a, it's a very what? <laughs> Just I don't know. Oh, you you're not used to compliments, motherfucker. You never compliment me on this show. You just fire me. No, I know. I, I I always do. I always compliment you. You fired me last week. Well, and then uh, Tim fired me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you want to check her out, it is Olivia Michelli. Uh, uh, again, uh, amazing man. Um, she she's on streaming platforms, Spotify. Uh, she's also on SoundCloud. Um, she had another song. Uh, 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 um, guys like you, but she's indie singer songwriter and also a pop producer. Uh, and man, again, that was, that was very catchy. I so I could, it. I could see how that was, is going to go, um, go good. I'm trying to see where she's. Yeah, there's, she's based out of uh, Staffordshire, Shire, England. Staffordshire, England. Staffordshire, England. But uh, we're very probably good. saying that wrong too, but that's fine. Yeah, uh, Olivia, if you want to message us, Chris Court Show at gmail dot com. Uh, so maybe we could do an interview with you. Uh, that would be amazing. Just give us a buzz. There we go. Oh, let's start off with. Our James Blunt. So he had a deal. I don't know if you heard about this, but he she had a uh, he had a deal that he would rename himself after failing uh, after topping the UK's album chart. So he said, "All right, if I if I top the UK's album charts, I will legally change my name." And he had people. But it says failing to top the UK's. Album well, chart. well, I didn't get there. Oh. But he said that he will... Uh, oh, he said he would change his name if he did top it. Yes. Gotcha. And he said he'll legally change his name. His fans had to pick out a name. And they came out with Blunty McBluntface. Which, and then he he said, all right, well, if that's what... He's like, not original, but if that's what you want me to change it to, I'll change it. But I have to top the UK's album charts. He failed. He, he failed to top the charts, so yeah. he doesn't have to change his name. Doesn't have to change his name to Blunty McBluntface. He's not need to be Blunty McBluntface. You know what that's from, though? What? The Blunty McBluntface. Isn't it from that, like, ship or... uh... It's from a lot of things, but more recently, it's from freaking Elon Musk's internet service. Uh. The internet service uh, Starlink... I think it's like called Dishy McDishface or something like that. They call oh, it. Oh, it's from. It's pad. from. Well, way before that, it was like. Uh, 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 I'm just saying. More recently, though, that's what it's from. Yeah, I forgot. It was like a sea, like a ship or something, or a boat called Boaty McBoatface. Boaty McBoatface. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or shipping the ship face. No, I think it was Boaty McBoatface. But um, I don't know. So say the podcast. Let's say went big right and we went like you know the top charts okay of podcasts i mean we are number six in illinois well we were we were we don't know if now we we're number now. three so maybe <laughs> maybe we don't know <laughs> it's getting a little hot here <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> and if they said we can get you number one. Tons of listeners, everything. You just have to change your name to Manny McFatface. <laughs> that's, that's what came out. Manny McFatface. And what if they told you you have to change your name to 
Christopher Little Dick. That's fine. You'd be okay with that? Yeah, go ahead. Your last, mean, your last name won't be Court anymore. It'll be Little Dick. My name's Little... No, the, the first name only. No, no. Your last name would be Little Dick. That That's his whole name. Blunty would be his first name. Big Blunt Face would be his last name. Oh, maybe. Um, uh, Yeah, you know. All right, fuck it. Like... We're going to put you on number one. You guys are going to earn like $10 million a year, but you need to rename yourself. Christian. $10 million a year, I would. <laughs> yes. Sign me up. My name is Little Dick. $10 a year. $10 a year. I mean, that's a whole lot more than we're making now. I mean, that's true. But that's like $10 more than we're making now. <laughs> Actually, it's like $50 more than we're making now. Yeah, you know what? Uh, where are our sponsors? You know, I know your sponsors are listening to us. Where are you? Oh, they don't want to sponsor this. How come you don't sponsor us? We'll do anything. Matt just told you. He'll suck a cock. No, I won't to. do that. Yeah, I think you would. I would not. But, um, you know, this is how we're going to get them. You know what? That's what we do in our videos. We need sponsors. Start reaching out for sponsors? Yeah. See if uh, anyone will do it. Or just start advertising things and see if anyone catches on. What are we <laughs> going to advertise? Long drink? <laughs> <laughs> Dave yeah. Roll. I might consider doing that since I'm so gay. You have to cut it together, but that'll work. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, you heard, you heard that, so that's just it is what it is. Ignore that. Um, yeah. So sponsors, we need sponsors. That's what we're going to start promoting now. We need to get sponsors. You know, let's do it. This is this is gold. We're we're on a gold landmine. I mean, our numbers are climbing. Yeah. Every week. Yeah. For the last three, two or three weeks. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but all of a sudden, you know, so there it is, Blunty McBlunt face. You go. Um, this is something that you can use for those long distant nights. Long distance if you kissing device. And your wife and or your girlfriend are are far away from wait, each wait, other. Wait, wait. Where's the guy gonna put his what? His kissing device. Mm. <laughs> you can't really stick it in anything though. <coughs> you can have a long kissing device. So all you do is you plug your, your device into your phone and then you start making out with this device. And it'll send a kiss through the app, and it's like a like a like a silicone maybe uh, piece that goes into it, and you just kiss it, and it's like it gives you on your um, on your phone. I think it gives you like the and it costs zero dollars curvatures of your. Well, that's to uh, oh, they're trying to that's a GoFundMe. That basically, yeah, yeah it's not yeah, GoFundMe, go but it's, yeah, so. You just kiss this little device that you have your phone plugged in, and then you'll see like the uh, outlines of your your little lips that get sent to the other phone, and it's like a kissy kiss. No, I'm good. Kissy kissy kiss. They should make one that you know <laughs> uh, blows you from yeah. <laughs> five hundred miles away. My internet connection sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the Kissinger robotic phone accessory is able to uh, physically simulate a kiss between friends and loved ones when they are in different locations <laughs> anywhere in the world. Uh, the gadget can be used to complement the social bonding required to keep in a long distance relationship intact. Oh, there is Buck. He's making a comeback. Um, so would you ever get it? No. No? The Kissinger? I think they should should rename it to Kissy McKiff's face. Kissy McKiff face would probably actually make money. Kith? K K You're talking like Mike Tyson now. <laughs> Kissy McKiff face. <laughs> he could sponsor it. Yeah. Get the Kissy McKiff face. <laughs> the Kithender. I probably won't bite your eel off. Why is he saying eel? <laughs> 
Is it how he talks? Hey, have you ever seen that video of Mike Tyson? Uh, I forgot who it was. It was like this midget guy. Hey, he, I forgot his name, but he's like a midget. Okay. He's like a well-known midget. It's a dwarf. All right. Now you want to be censored <laughs> because we're trying to get sponsors. That's right. <laughs> well, I, I can guarantee you that dwarves aren't going to sponsor us, so it's okay. Um, you never know. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarves, we need to get sponsored. No, but um, it, it was a it, it was a Mike Tyson video, and again, I, I I don't know who the the midget was, and he didn't know. <laughs> he looked like a little kid because you know, um, and <laughs> he took the kid he, the the midget the he's like forty year old forty year old man, and he's going like. Woo! You're so cute, and the guy, the midget, was like, "Stop, stop!" <laughs> I have not seen that though. No. Oh, it's it's hilarious. Mike Tyson thought he was a little a kid. kid. <laughs> Even so, why would you do it to a little kid you don't know? Why not? That's creepy. Nah. I mean, Mike Tyson's creepy, so I guess it works. Yeah. Well, at least he's not Diddy. Creepy. Don't come and punch me in the face, Mike. <laughs> Or actually do it. I mean, only if we can record it first. Yeah. The Cure is set to retire after their 50th anniversary of their debut album. In 2029, The Cure now has a new song out now um, that I haven't still listened to because I haven't found the time to actually sit down and listen to because Cure is, you know, in my top bands. I I wouldn't say top five or top ten, but They're they're in my top bands. Um, so, um, they are going to retire at 2029. I, I don't know if, why would you put a date? Well, they're doing the 50th anniversary. Oh, so then it's just and, over. And like the 50th anniversary of when they got together is in 2028. Their debut album was in 2029. Well, 50th anniversary of their debut album is in 2029. Mm, okay. Well, <coughs> um, they have an upcoming album, and I'm so excited about it, called Songs of a Lost World. If you're not a big uh, The Cure fan, I know someone will re- re- Now I'm talking like Mike Tyson. Re- <laughs> <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone recently. <laughs> now, someone recently said that. You did it again. <laughs> I know, I did that on purpose. Uh, that we should just talk like that the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> that they didn't like the. I think it was. Tim, they didn't like the cure. I, yeah, that he said they were boring or something. I mean, I could see someone saying that. I think it was Tim. They have some good that. songs. They do. I could see someone saying they're boring though. Yeah. Right now, just an FYI, we're uh, uh, testing out this. We're on Instagram Live, just to see how it is. <laughs> I don't know why we're saying that on the podcast since they're not going to hear this until after we're not live anymore. <laughs> I know, but we're just <laughs> testing it to see how it is. It doesn't look like it's working all too good, though. No, no we've, one, we've had some people filter in and out, but yeah, no one's really out. stayed around. No one really cares. I mean, but, this is just like behind the scenes, though. It's kind of a, it's kind of a boring video, to be honest. Uh-huh. I'd be bored too. I'd be like, mm, this is dumb. So would I. Uh, I can't always be creative, you know. I mean, that's what we get paid for. Who? <laughs> If we got paid, we'd be more creative. I'm sorry about my my dog is barking in the background. I think that's adding to the uh, ambiance. Yeah. I got airplanes at our remote studio. You got dogs (laughs) at your studio. (laughs) How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Wasn't it two? Licks? Yeah. Why would you say two? Isn't that what the owl did? It was like one, two, and he bit it. No, like for it for real life. No, it's two. No, it's listen not. to the fucking cartoon owl. No, it's three actually. Was it three? A one, a two, a three, a three <laughs> licks. Um, which I could tell you, but um, it's on a screenshot on my phone. Why is it on a screenshot on your phone? Um, no, I, it it really there was a licking machine. Um, that went and licked a Tootsie Pop. 
over and over and over. But that's not real because it's a licking machine. It's, it's, it doesn't have the same amount of saliva and heat as a human. It does. It does. It did. I don't think it did. 364 licks was the average. 364 licks. But it said 20 volunteers average averaged 252. 252 licks. See? Not the same as a human. All right. So 100 less licks. So let's just call it down the middle and we'll say maybe 300. I'm going to say 252. No. Next time, twenty volunteers average two fifty two. That's what we should do: is make a uh, an episode of us not talking. Just I'm gonna get to the center in one lick. The oh, fuck! <laughs> you made it move. <laughs> God damn! It's getting hot up in here. <laughs> no, I um I think we should make an episode and see. How many? No, you're going to keep talking. Oh, I'm sorry. What were you doing? I'm just clearing notifications. Oh, that's perfect time to do <laughs> that. <laughs> I think I think we should just have an app. You know what? Fuck me. I will. All right. So, <laughs> former NFL quarterback Jay Cutler, my guy. Reported is for DUI, gun possession. He was arrested for DUI and gun possession. I yeah. love that photo of him. <laughs> that that photo looks like he just lost the game with the Bears. It, or or <laughs> he just like literally woke up and rolled out of bed. <laughs> uh, that was like your favorite guy ever, too. That was your boy. That was, yeah, your, one of my that was favorite, your man crush. Well, yeah, my favorite uh, quarterback. Does he look good sure. in that photo now? Hell yeah. You going to fuck that? He's 41 years old. You look gonna, at him. You going to fuck that jailbait? <laughs> <laughs> he was reportedly slurring his words and refused field sob- sobriety tests before taken to a local hospital and having a blood sample taken through a warrant. A police searched of Cutler's car and found two guns in his possession, including a loaded pistol. He allegedly offered the other driver $2,000 not to call the police and then attempted to <laughs> leave the scene. Uh, Cutler was later taken into custody and charged with DUI, failure to exercise due care to avoid a collision, implied consent, and possession of a handgun while under the influence. After being booked into uh, the county jail, Cutler was released on a $5,000 bond. Well, that's nothing, man. He was like, okay, I fart that. Right. He was just to get, about to give $2,000. So that's what he should have done. Offer it at least $5,000. <laughs> The bond's gonna be five thousand dollars, so I'll give you five grand if you just shut your fucking mouth and get out of here. <laughs> Three thousand dollars more. Uh, here's the thing, though. He's a professional football player still, right? Mm-mm. Is he retired? Oh yeah, he's been retired. Oh, I thought he's still playing for somebody. No, 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 no. I was gonna say, if he's still getting that kind of money, why, why would he only offer two thousand? <laughs> he retired in two thousand seventeen. Oh really? <laughs> I don't. I don't follow Jake Cutler. I figured he was just on another team. You don't follow football. I follow the Bears when they're winning. So you're following them now? A little bit. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to grab another drink. You want to grab me one? Yeah, sure. What do you want? I don't know, but I'm apparently going to have to talk now. No, <laughs> um, no. Just just one of these. Blue can. Do <laughs> You should have got it into the microphone, motherfucker. <laughs> it's on a boom mic. You could have moved it. <laughs> He's sitting over here trying to fart before he leaves. I'm pretty sure the phone picked that up, though. Too bad nobody's out there. <laughs> yeah. oh, sometimes you get parched when you're talking and you, and you just need a drink and, you know. <laughs> so, you know, good for Jay. Good for Jay because good for Jay that he got <laughs> thrown to jail over a DUI a gun position while intoxicated. Oh, he doesn't give a fuck. I'm sure he doesn't, but he's just like whatever. Now, do you think he was smart with his money since he's retired already? Like, uh, do you think he still has all that money put away? He is because he has a couple businesses. Does he? He has a meat business. Yeah, they're actually very good meats. Have you ever had them? How expensive are they? I don't know. I never had one. Then they're not worth it. <laughs> and he has a cigar business. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. 
Um, but I forget what the meats were called. I don't like when celebrities do like meats. Like, let the farmers do meats. They know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> let the farmers do meats. I'm going to start another farm aid. <laughs> Maybe I will. That was a good ass concert. <laughs> <laughs> you just spilled that all over your shirt. <laughs> you couldn't even take the first sip out of that can. The last time, um, oh, thank God. <laughs> the last time uh, I broke the glass here. Yeah. So I you decided to throw a giant clump of ice that didn't fit into the glass into the glass. <laughs> I don't think that. Hoping it would magically make its way through the same fucking hole that it wouldn't fit through. I don't think that was the case. I'm pretty sure that was the case. You were like, if I throw this hard enough, it'll fit through that hole it didn't fit through. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just slam it in there. You know who Liam Payne is? Nope. Not a clue. Well, he had pain when he fell and died. Uh, he's from... He's from One Direction. Oh, he's from One Direction? Yeah, he okay. was like the I remember main. that band. Or he group. was under the influence of drugs. It was not band, it was a group. And shit, and he was at a hotel, and he was taking all kinds of drugs. He was fucking, and he just Why fell. is there a box of Dove soap? <laughs> I'm thinking that's something to do with the drugs, maybe to like melt it together or something, like the tinfoil. Uh, okay. Or, no, well, tinfoil comes together on its own. I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, he's dead. Well, good for him. Uh, Congrats. Uh, what they think happened caused an episode of hallucination, and uh, they think it played a big part. He fell from the third floor balcony of his room. Oh, no. fuck him, I guess. <laughs> hey, guys. What new albums are coming out these days? It's new releases time! These days, new albums, new albums, new albums, new albums, new albums. October 18th, from your house to ours. Go and pick up these. I don't know. <laughs> Go and pick up these records out now. Remember to support your local record store. Buy fucking cassette tapes, albums, CDs. Go and support, man. They're few and far between. Keep them alive. Let's start off with American football. American football covers. Covers. We got Christopher Owens with I Want to Run Barefoot Through Your Hair. What the? <laughs> I felt like it had to be said that way. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the most creepiest thing. It does. <laughs> Confidence man. 3 a.m. La la la. Cunningham Bird. Cunningham Bird. It's a cover LP of Buckingham Nicks by Andrew Bird and Madison Cunningham. Emma Anderson. Spirale. Paralyse rearranged. Japan Droids. Fate and Alcohol. Final album. Damn, it's their final album. You better get that. Jennifer Hudson, The Gift of Love. Joe Jonas, Music for People Who Believe in Love. Jordana, Lively Premonition. Karate, Make It Fit. Kelly Leon's, <laughs> Dream State. Kylie Minogue, Tension 2. Liella Moss, Transparent Eyeball. MC5. Damn. Heavy lifting. Nap eyes. The neon gate. Oliver Coates. Throb, shiver, arrow of time. Porridge radio. Clouds in the sky. They will always be there for me. Sean Mendez. Sean. Silverbacks. Easy being a winner. Tim Heidecker. Slipping away. And WH Long. Every inch of earth pulsates October 18th. These albums are out now. You could even listen to uh, Matt's side project that he put out called Nap Eyes. That's you. Nap Eyes? <laughs> the fuck? You got the <laughs> tired eyes. I'm always so tired. But I ain't got that neon gate. You might, though. I might. 
It's not um, pants. So what were we talking about? Uh, oh, okay. the guy who killed himself with the Dove soap. Uh, no, he didn't kill himself. So, you know, <laughs> don't do drugs. He killed himself with Dove soap. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> he injected Dove soap in his arm. <laughs> This is what happens, though. These kids, they get famous. These kids these days, they get famous and don't know what the fu- how to fucking act. A smashed television was found. So this guy was just going fucking berserk. Payne's body was found on the ground floor with a bottle of whiskey, a lighter, and a cell phone. All right. And a bunch of drug paraphernalia on a counter. Wait, and in so a the bottle of what, what is craziest to me, the bottle of whiskey didn't break? I mean, it might have. Huh. Some um, of those whiskey bottles are thick, though. They don't break Yeah, easy. that's true. Medics said Peyton's injuries were incompatible with life. <laughs> what? <laughs> Medics said Peyton's injuries were incompatible with life? What the fuck? <laughs> I guess I. that's another way of dying. First I... responders described a cranial fracture that led to immediate death. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess that's another way of saying somebody died. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> His injuries were incompatible with life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your 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 dad uh, was incompatible with life, and he had to go. Payne had to go. Uh, he went to rehab twice previously uh, when he was a member of One Direction after the group split, and they commented on his addiction. Man. Wow. Well, I don't know who he was, but he's gone. Ringo Starr is going cowboy for new Roots music album. Look up. I thought he was sick. He had the cold. (laughs) He canceled his entire tour for a cold? Well, it was only two more shows. He was like, I don't feel like doing this shit anymore. Tell him I got a cold. (laughs) I've got to record the country album. (laughs) Because you sound so country, Ringo. (laughs) Produced by T-Bone Burnett, the Country Tinged Project includes guests like Billy Strings, damn, okay, and Molly Tuttle. That's huge. I wonder how that'll sound, actually. But, um, what is, is it? Is there a song? Time on my hands. Well, while not a collabs project, Bluegrass Pickers, Billy St- this ain't whack, whack. it's mass known fact whack. Coming up in that ass Whack, like whack is black That is that, it's max Well known facts Buck barks What these bitches know about facts They about to find out uh. Alright, that was Matt's well known facts that just comes out of nowhere sometimes. Uh, while not a collabs project, Bluegrass Pickers, Billy Strings, and Molly Tuttle play guitar on multiple songs, and Tuttle duets with Star on uh, a song called Can You Hear Me Call. That's going to be interesting. I wonder how that's going to be. Okay, okay. Well, I see you, Ringo. He's not a country artist. He They had a lot of country roots, like the Beatles I'm talking about. They got... British roots. Yeah, they had country music's American. They had British roots. Country music's American. Ah! (laughs) Uh, Ringo says, I've always loved country music, and when I asked T-Bone to write me a song, I didn't even think at the time that it would be a country song, but of course it was, and it was so beautiful. I had been making EPs at the time, and so I thought we would do a country EP, but when he brought me nine songs, I knew we had to make an album. And I am so glad we did. I want to thank and send peace and love. That sounded like Ringo. Like, that was a really good job, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I don't give a fuck. Oh, well. (laughs) 2024 is here, and it's been here. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> We're almost done with the year. And, and, and my phone's shutting down, so. Oh, there you go. The battery ran out. I guess that uh, live stream is done. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony is here again. Oh, wow. nobody cares. Yeah, nobody does care, but I also like to talk they're about gonna, it. They're going to induct a bunch of people who aren't rock and roll. Well, let's see. Let's let's start off here with Mary J. Blige. Yep. <laughs> 
Cher. Yep. No, she was rock. She wasn't rock and roll. Sonny and Cher. It wasn't rock and roll. It was more pop. Was it, though? Yeah. Have you listened to early Sonny and Cher? <laughs> I've been drinking. Oh, my God. <laughs> that hurt my heart. <laughs> oh, my God. And fuck Dave Matthews Band. Dave Matthews Band. They dumped their garbage poop out of their fucking RV into our river. That ain't your river. That's our river. Do you pay taxes for that? Technically, yes, because I live in Cook County. <laughs> uh, foreigner, first time nominee. Okay. Peter Frampton, Definitely. first time non- nominee. Cool in the Gang. Rock and Roll? First time nominee, yeah, but Cool in the Gang. Uh, it is Cool in the Gang. Ozzy Osbourne, first time nominee in A Tribe Called Quest. Okay. I wasn't a fan of the first two on there, three on there. <laughs> Dave Matthews actually has a really good soul. No, and they're 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 more rock and roll than like Mary J. Blige. Are you doing over there? That's Dave Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it sound like him? <laughs> it sounded like a weird radio. <laughs> I don't know how you did that with your voice. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Musical Excellence Award, uh, Jimmy Buffett, MC5, Dionne Warwick. Didn't Jimmy Buffett pass away? He could still get inducted. But he's dead. Okay. So who's going to accept the award? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to put it on a casket? I mean, his wife, probably. Nah, she wasn't rock and roll. Are you playing footsie <laughs> with me over here? What celebrities are going to be at the induction? Buster Rhymes, Chuck... Uh, who gives a fuck? Buster Rhymes, Chuck D, Dr. Dre, Demi Lovato, Dua Lipa. Not a single person on this list so far has been fucking rock and roll. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sammy Hagar, Roger Daltrey, Slash. I'm, I'm saying the first, like, ten people or not. <laughs> Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts? <laughs> <laughs> Jack Black. Mayor James Keenan will be there. Oh. Kelly Clarkson, not rock and roll. Jennifer Hudson, not rock and roll. Billy Idol. Jack Black's 100% rock and roll. <laughs> Zach Wilde was on there. Now, how can you watch the induction ceremony live? You got to pay. You got to pay to play. It'll probably be on ABC, too. Yeah. Uh, the induction will be on Disney Plus starting at 7 p.m. If you don't have a Disney Plus subscription, it's $10 a month. Go and do it. And that's Wait, that's a ten dollars a month for the uh when's the date? It's at com- seven PM. Commercial maybe. version. Commercial version. It does it doesn't say a date. Uh it does not. Wait, what did that say? Scroll up, scroll up. I saw something on Saturday. This Saturday? Saturday night. Take so on Saturday night. Oh, okay. So it's this Saturday so night. So it's this Saturday night. Uh, so you got to till tomorrow t- night. Tomorrow night. <laughs> it is tomorrow night. And depends on when you're listening to, it's probably done. <laughs> uh, but it oh, was. Man, I'm, I'm burping a lot tonight. Man, I'm going to watch that now. I don't know why. You going to pay for Disney Plus to watch that? I have Disney Plus. You got the commercial free version? Hell no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was going to ask for that login. Because <laughs> I got it. This is a commercial version. I don't like it. Yeah, that's all right. Um, is the 2024, um, I don't know. Who gives a fuck? Okay, just watch it or don't watch it. I don't care. Yeah. Have you been to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I have not. It's actually really cool. I'm sure it is. Like, if I was it's Cleveland, right? Mm-hmm. If I was in Cleveland, I would go check it out. But I have no other reason to go to Cleveland. Me and Michelle went. I have absolutely no other reason to go to Cleveland. <laughs> um, We went, I think we went strictly for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But they had a bunch of little bars out there that was a really cool, and uh, we went at well, the I've, time. I've been to Ohio. I'm good. We went to, <laughs> at the time where uh, the wall was like the main event at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame thing. The wall? The wall by Pink Floyd. Like in the 70s? What? <laughs> you went in the 70s? No, it was just, no. I'm not a time traveler. Why not? Although I look at it, and I play the part. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody save me. I'm, I'm being held hostage out here. <laughs> nah, you're not. Uh, so there it is. There's your uh, r- fucking news of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I and I think I think that does it for you, Matt. That does it for me. That does it. For I'm you. done. Yeah, you're you're good to go home. You are good to go. Are you gonna watch the uh, Mike I gotta, Tyson? I gotta post all this shit. You gotta you gonna watch the Mike Tyson fight? Are you gonna buy it? Yes. If you're gonna buy it, I'll come over and watch it. Yeah. When is it? Uh, let's see. Because I would love to see him destroy that motherfucker. You think he's gonna actually? Oh do my it? god! I think he's gonna fucking kill him in the ring. I, I think it's gonna be like very, I think it's gonna be like one punch and that guy's gonna be dead. I think it's gonna be Hollywoodic. What Hollywoodic? Like very staged. Yeah. I think Mike Tyson's going to fucking murder him right in the ring, but have a license to do so. Yeah, I'm going to buy it, so. <clears throat> well, let's see. I mean, we you could always go to a bar, but I don't want to go to a bun- bar with a bunch of douchebags. I'd rather watch it here. Right. You know you're going to pay like $80 to watch a 10-second fight of a guy get murdered? <laughs> I won't be paying nothing. The fuck? Give me that. <laughs> this dick? <laughs> Yeah, so Mike Tyson is 50? Wait, no. It don't matter. That motherfucker's crazy. 57. You think... I you think know. Jake Paul's got a chance? Look at look how big he is. I don't give a fuck. Mike Tyson's crazy. He used to be crazy. I don't I'm know pretty he... sure he still is. November 15th. So what day is that? That's in November on the 15th. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's on a Friday night. Perfect. We'll watch it. While we're doing the podcast? Sure. <laughs> but kill that motherfucker. <laughs> what uh, What time? It's probably earlier in the day. I'll probably be at work. No, it's, they're going to have it at night. It's going to be like 6 a.m. What? <laughs> no, it'll be at night. I'm guessing. Are you going to make bets on it? I'm guessing at like 9 o'clock at night. I think I want to make a bet on this one. I With don't who? bet very often. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bet on Tyson. He's going to fucking win. Dude. There's no know. fucking way he's not going to win. It could be a fucking draw, though. Dude, I think he's going to win. I think he's going to fucking murder this guy. Holy shit, look at that sharp nipple. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he's got to do is put his nipple in his eye. I mean, he does have bigger chest. Look at that. Dude, he's been fighting forever, too. It doesn't matter. Jake Paul is the king. Right He's now. been training. So what? Jake Paul's a bitch. Oh. Mike Tyson bit Holyfield's ear off. That's true. <laughs> he'll bite. He'll bite Jake Paul's dick off <laughs> just to win this fight. <laughs> Mike Tyson's had interviews where he said like, he doesn't. He becomes a different person when he's in a ring. Like, yeah, he's gonna, I've seen that. Yeah, like he'll fucking murder. And this he guy. even said like, I don't like the person I become when I'm in the ring. Tune in November 15th at 8 p.m. I'm sorry. I know Jake Paul's like, he's he's been training. He's working out and stuff. But honestly, like, just in this picture that they have in this setup here, why does Jake Paul's arm not look muscular, but Mike Tyson's arm looks like it's going to murder somebody? <laughs> <laughs> look how, like, he goes into his punch, too. Yeah. No, he knows how to box. That's why. Yeah. J- See, like, he was doing, Mike Tyson is doing an actual, like, punch for the photo. Where Jake Paul's sitting there posing. Jake Paul's gone. He's Hi-ya! posing. He's like, Hi, I'm posing. Mike Tyson's like, I'm going to fucking murder you. <laughs> I'm going to eat your kids. <laughs> you got to give him credit, though. Like, to even go into uh, a fight with Mike Tyson is crazy. Because, you know. You know I, I'm seriously considering putting money down on Mike Tyson. 7 p.m. is when it starts. I now just, I just got to find out where to go to put money down. Now, Mike Tyson isn't going to start at, at 7 p.m. because it's going to be a bunch of little fights and then the main fight. Oh, yeah. Um, but it's on Netflix. Is it really? Yeah. Shit. You can do it live on Netflix? Yeah. What does Netflix have live? I've never seen live on Netflix. You've never seen live on Netflix? No. It's called live on Netflix. The fuck? <laughs> never seen that once. Yeah. Add to the calendar. Right there. Click it. The fuck? I got a virus. <laughs> you just downloaded the Jake Paul virus. 
<laughs> I'm gonna wake up and my phone's gonna have Jake Paul's cock on my. No, you're gonna wake up and want to fight Mike Tyson. <laughs> You think I could take on Mike Tyson? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jake Paul will last one round at least. You're not going to last a half a round. Yeah, but I've been in a motorcycle accident. That does not matter. <laughs> Do you think I'm pretty sure Mike Tyson could punch your motorcycle into a different state. You think <laughs> that Mike Tyson's hit is harder than getting hit by another car on a motorcycle? But see, you didn't get hit by another car. You hit the other car. Yeah, and I destroyed that fucking taillight. <laughs> the, destro- the, the taillight destroyed your hand, too. I was I, I was talking to someone. Someone just got in a motorcycle accident. They uh, fractured parts of their back. That's and not the, great. And then <laughs> split and had to remove their scrotum. Like remove their scrotum? Yeah, one one ball. No shit. Yeah, because, and I remember when I fell off the uh, motorcycle, uh, just for a backstory, it was in Arizona, I got in a car, a- or a motorcycle accident, I talk all about it, it's on an episode called uh, Bike Crash, Bike Crash, two years ago, something like that, but if you want to get the real detailed story, that's what it's on, but I got in a bike accident in Arizona. Still the most popular episode we've had download it. Yeah. And it was a rental bike, and um, yeah, I felt like my fucking my my inner thighs were like burning, and my balls were just like it felt like they were well, your whole body punched forward. Yeah, well, and I think that's what happened to the dude because it slaps against the gas tank. <laughs> it slaps against the gas tank, and you know, or the handlebars. I don't. I if to, you went far enough, you hit the handlebars. But well, I most likely you hit the gas tank. I didn't. No, I didn't flip over the... I don't know, actually. Everything happened so fast, but maybe I fell out to the side. But when you made the impact, your body probably slid forward and your whole crotch hit the fucking gas tank. Yeah. Because it does come up in front of your crotch. Yeah, that's true. But I remember the first thing, I was like, oh my God, does my dick work? No. Did my balls work? It didn't didn't work work before the accident. No, it didn't, but... (laughs) Come on, get give it some kind of fighting <laughs> chance. <laughs> I mean, all my kids were born at that time, so it was like, all right, I mean, it obviously worked a little. Yeah, well, they were born at that time, like a little. <laughs> Don't be mad about what? At the truth? <laughs> well, the truth is going to kill us one day. Your little dick's going to kill us one day. Yeah, wait until you're fucking gagging on this shit, and then you're like, oh, Chris, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, Chris. (laughs) Is it in yet? Uh, uh, uh. (laughs) (laughs) All right, that's the end of the show. Thank you guys for listening. If you have a band and you want to play it right here on the Chris Court Show, we are more than happy to play it. Just send your email to chriscourtshow at gmail.com. Please include a bio and a YouTube link or a download so we can download it. And uh, any sponsors out there want to sponsor us, we'll gladly take it. We're fucking big time now. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Give us that dollar. Give us that dick. (laughs) Once again. Thank you for listening to The Chris Court Show. Remember, if you have a band or business, or know someone that has a band or business, send all the info and mp3s to chriscourtshow at gmail.com. Chicken nuggets and cranberry sauce. The Chris Court Show.